towering in at a mighty six foot ten, and weighing in tonight at over twenty-five tablespoons of uncontained awesome sauce, he is the ambassador of Epic and the president of Hype, the undefeated and reigning champion of item box. Give it up for the dino from down south, Perry Dactyl! <laughs> Yo, I'm here to represent the best of the box! Yo, then, I'm gonna talk about the hypest game of 2014! Shovel Knight! A retro-inspired platformer developed by the gods themselves. But you plebeians might know them as Yacht Club. Shovel Knight is inspired by the greats of the Nintendo Entertainment System such as Castlevania, DuckTales, Super Mario 3, and Mega Man! What's really hype about this is that it takes a feeling of familiarity and enhances it with modern mechanics including a checkpoint system and a unique death mechanic. This amazing platforming experience is wrapped up in a beautifully hyped music Produced by Jake Kaufman with a couple tracks created by Manume Matsume. Steal thy hype! Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze wasn't just one of my favorite games of 2014, but possibly one of the best platforming games of all time ever. It starts with the level design. Retro were tasked with making a platformer that had to maintain the creativity and challenge that older Donkey Kong Country fans loved. And they picked up that ball and ran with it! Every single level in this game is so incredibly different from the way it looks to the way it plays. Multi-purposed is the word to think about, and you can see that a lot of thought and planning went into creating levels that could be played in all sorts of ways depending on the player. First time through, you might be endlessly exploring the game's many hidden secrets, tougher obstacles, and alternate paths looking for collectibles. But on top of that, each level is also made with platforms and routes perfectly made for speedrunning, and even lets you view world record speedruns through the game itself. And adding to that Donkey Kong Country feel even more is the triumphant return of DKC composer David Weiss. Needless to say, once again he composed a legendary soundtrack for what is no doubt a legendary game. I haven't been the most up to date when it comes to playing games. Heck, I just bought a Wii U at the turn of the new year, so for me when it comes to playing newer games it's kind of far and few in between. But one of the lucky games I did play that came out last year was one that I was also really excited about when I first saw it released, which was Valiant Hearts The Great War. The game's art style is one of the best I've seen that helps tell the story of a broken world, starting off colorful and full of life, but eventually transcending into a gritty, muddy, and despair wrought plane of existence that quickly deforms after the brutality of war tears it all apart. There are a few minor flaws I have with the game, like the driving parts and the DDRS keeling sections when you play as Anna, but they don't happen often and do not overbear from all the wonderful elements within. With excellent puzzle platforming on hand and a wonderful and emotional tale all about the anguish of war, it's most definitely a game you won't forget. Also, Walt is my favorite. I love him so much! He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Okay, you guys have no idea how happy I am that Itembox finally decided to talk about the best games of 2004. I've been waiting for what seems like 10 years to talk about this list. 2004 was filled with so many awesome games like Half-Life 2, Metroid Prime 2, Halo 2, The Sims 2, Sly 2, Spider-Man 2, Tony Hawk's Underground 2. There were, uh, there were a lot of sequels that year. But most of all, I had Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. A remake of the original Pokemon games with better graphics, better music, and better gameplay. Tyler, what the heck? It's best game of 2014. Come on! You know, when you just start asking around, it becomes abundantly clear that not many people realize that everyone else on this list is wrong. There are countless reasons as to why Bayonetta 2 is the unquestioned game of the year for 2014. I mean, this game is the hypest shit since the invention of the Roman alphabet. The game is perfect and awesome and amazing in every way ever. Everything about this game is crazier than driving a flaming school bus through a wall of CSI Miami Season 2 DVD sets that are also on fire. 
This game is the kind of crazy hype tingly goodness that has you fighting major awesome over the top robot ninja matrix might as well be on the top of a tall building fights while huge crazy exploding creature design orgasm monsters amplify the awesome by whatever the current largest number we know of is in the background. And as if those aren't enough reasons right there to convince you that Bayonetta 2 is the game of the decade, when the game is not busy trying to make you the very embodiment of godlike ninja powers, the cutscenes and the music are good enough to cure most diseases. Kojima, Miyamoto, Sakurai, you better watch out, because Bayonetta's right behind you, and Kamiya's got your number. Because Bayonetta 2 is the game of the century. That is all. I'm gonna be honest for a second. I haven't seen any of your guys' picks, but I already know that every single one of them is total fucking bullshit. Uh, Game of Years, Shovel Knight, uh, Bayonetta, uh, Legend of Zelda, the, 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 fuck you. You know what the Game of the Year is? Motherfucking Vibrate. I know what you're thinking, Ah, oh, isn't that a PS1 game? Ah, oh, didn't that come out in 1998? Yeah, if you live in Europe or Japan. But I'm not a communist, and here in America, Vibberman didn't come out until when? Oh yeah, October 2014. Who plays this adorable rabbit trying to get from one side of this line to the other side of this line, and that's the plot. Sounds easy, right? But you got obstacles in your way, and they stop you from getting to the other side of the line, and they appear, get this, in time with the music. Game only uses four buttons for the four different kinds of obstacles you'll find, but those obstacles will get combined in different ways, which means you have to hit more than one button at the same time, and it gets really confusing. But not too confusing, because this isn't that confusing a game. Sounds simple? Yeah, it is, but it's done with so much polish and charm and flair that it's really easy to fall for, and it's just a great experience overall. It also has the greatest soundtrack in any game released this year, and I know you're gonna be all like, oh, but Shovel Knight had a better soundtrack. Well, Vibrobin allows you to put your own CDs into the game, and it creates levels based on them, and you know what that means. Oh yeah. So I've already stated my top game of 2014 in a video over on my other channel, Dumpster Gameplay, and if you haven't seen that, my choice went to The Wolf Among Us. But now that I've had an extra month to think about it, I think my choice for top game of 2014 is going to go to what I originally had at number two. Do you know what it was? You didn't watch the video, did you? God damn it. It's Transistor! This beautiful game was made by the people at Supergiant Games, who also made Bastion. It follows the story of Red, a popular singer in the city of Cloudbank, who one night gets ambushed by a group known as the Camerata. They try to kill Red using this device here called the Transistor, but instead, they end up killing her man buddy and taking her voice. I won't describe the story much farther than that because really it's one that's much better experienced than heard. Everything about Transistor is absolutely stunning. The visuals, the combat, the story, and oh my god the music. Darren Korb crafted an amazing soundtrack that perfectly fits the world it's in. And Ashley Barrett's vocals are fantastic. It's one instance where a game's soundtrack doesn't just add to a story but it also helps to tell it. Transistor is an excellent game, even if it is a little bit on the short side. If you haven't played it already, I highly recommend checking it out.